Hello and welcome to a new video about my MQTT motor controller. Well, I have good and bad news today. Good news, I have not destroyed the motor. Alright, I have not destroyed the motor. Here you see, uh, and if I am, if I am connecting with, with MQTT as before, let's say we are starting full power. It's working as before. Huh? It's the same speed as before. Everything. It is turning the direction as before. Everything is working well. Okay, everything is working well. However, if I just zero, if I just change this with my printed part here. Then let's see what is happening. Full power. Nothing. Yeah. Now reverse power. Almost full. Ooh. It is not working. Right? It is not working at all. So actually, this is not a good idea. Huh? This is not the best idea I had. Because uh, it's simply too heavy. Yeah? So I need to replace the motor with some motor which has more power. Ah, now I can even... I can even... See the effect we saw. It's not nothing, but it's too less. So, as I imagine, this little motor, this is simply too, too weak. Eh? So I ordered a bigger motor. Let's stop it. However, a bigger motor, does, this motor does not need a lot of current, all right? So, with a bigger motor, I also have to use, I also have to use another motor driver. This here is simply not sufficient. So I bought those. They promise you can switch. I don't remember anymore. En enough. I selected a motor which can do around 3 to 4 amps. Yeah? So I'm going to use this one. Yeah? So this is a, a MOSFET trigger. This is a MOSFET trigger. And yeah, we will see. So I will just try to connect all this. Yeah? So there, uh, there is just one input. It's ground and it's... PWM. So I need to connect. I need to connect those two, ground and trigger. And then we see. Then we see. So let's let's solve a little bit.
Okay. All right. So this should trigger now. Come back here. Ah, uh, where is input? For in, for out. In is this side. This is where I'm going. I'm going to plug in. Yeah, those. My plus seven. Plus seven dot five volts for in plus minus. Here I need to put the motor plus and minus. Just use those two. Okay, this needs to be the ground. And this here is the trigger line. All right, this is the trigger line. So we'll remove those parts. Plug this in again so that we have power supply. All right, power. And actually, if I should, uh, if I'm plugging this to three to three volt, nothing is happening. Yes. So actually, this is working. So where can I put it? Where can I put it? I can put it here at the enable line because the enable line is the line which will do the switching. Actually, this should already work. This should already work. Let's see. Slow down. Yes, it works. And the other direction should be the same. Yes, we cannot do a direction change anymore. We cannot do it because it's, you know, it's just triggered. This is not an H bridge. We cannot turn around. However, for our for our uh, fan, it should be sufficient to have only one direction. If we are switching plus and minus, then it should turn in a different direction. So this should also work. Let's see. Let's see if this is working. In which direction do, do we turn now? Huh? Maybe a little bit to less. In this direction. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> okay, in this direction. Yeah. And if I turn now the two connections, it should turn in the other direction. Yes. Good. So this is also possible to change direction by changing. This is what an H bridge actually does. Okay. So I can control the motor with this trigger. That's good. That's good. Now I need a stronger motor. I have already selected one. Yeah. Uh, I will order it and do a redesign. Do a redesign because bigger motor means yeah, this is too small. The case is too small. Okay, the motor case. So I need to redesign this motor case. And because I redesigned the motor case, 
I also have to redesign a little bit the base and I also have to redesign the fan because I need a bigger hole here. So this is actually what is happening next. This project. Ah, it's more challenging than I originally thought, yeah? but also more fun, of course. All right, so see you next time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.